Good morning, everybody. Please stand with us so we can worship the Lord together.
So that was fun. That was fun, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So as we get um, ready to continue in our worship, I just wanted to kind of talk about how this set was built, especially including the kids in that. Um, so a couple weeks ago, Brian talked about the purpose of the church and what was the number one purpose of the church was to worship God. So me being a pretty musical person, I immediately think of worship as song. And we all know that worship can take many different forms, prayer, reading, um, and, and singing as well. But me being the musical person I am, I worship best through song. So taking that into consideration when putting this set together, um, I did a little digging and I found a verse that I wanted to share with you. It is Colossians 3.16. It says, Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. So the whole point of today and, and the set that we're singing is, is just to worship the Lord. And I want you guys to really delve into that and so that we can praise the Lord with all of our might. So with that, let's, let's get going.
You may be seated.
to open your Bible, this is where we're going to be this morning. In the epistle of 1 Timothy chapter 3, if you'll open your Bibles to that letter that Paul gave to Timothy. Uh, if you're not smiling today, you got a problem. 